searching for that someone and it's me out on the prowl as you sit around feeling sorry for yourself well don't get lonely now and dry your wedding eyes i'm just roaming for the moment squeezing my backyard to tight get so uptight you've been Nice. Weight reduction. No time to search the world around. Cause you know where I'll be found when I come around. Okay, update. Yes, we're on our second Disney movie. Anyways. That's how we measure time. <laughs> so, tonight what we did off camera so far is I filled a bunch of little holes on the firewall. I kept a lot of them because I might be able to actually use them to mount some things. Like, I know we're going to have a lot of wiring. and But anyways, so we got those spots primed up. You can hardly even tell there was holes there. And uh, we got the firewall sanded with some... We basically did the same thing that we did with the back. We just used some red scotch brights just, just to take the shine off. And look how good that turned out. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and get into all the little crevices I can without accidentally, like, painting my engine. I'll be sad if I do that. Um, but, yeah, as long as I can get most of it so that you can't really tell just from standing next to the truck, I'll be happy. So... This will be the last time that the firewall is blue, for now, I guess. So, I guess we'll go ahead and start painting this thing. <laughs> I tried to take it off and I realized it's a major pain in the ass, so we're just going to paint over it. That's fine. Everything's fine. It's insane how easy this stuff... Oh, dang it. Oh, well. Guess I'm painting my... <laughs> See, House of Pro is going to thank me for doing this now because they gave they gave them the Supra and it had a whole engine in it and wiring and everything was in their way. So oh get, this, get this done now. I don't know how they were able to do it. Insane. They're professionals. They're professionals. Well, there it is. Looks good from here. Don't look at it up close. But it's black. More black. Everything's black. Got to get it done now, not later. Status report. Kowalski. Kowalski. Status report. Don't look too close. Kind of looks like a horse took a bite out of my frame. It's all good. It's plenty strong. Uh, got them welded in. I promise you it don't look good. But you could lift the whole truck by just one of these. Guarantee you. Guarantee you. The side was a little better, I'd say. They're in there, and they're plenty strong. It's not the prettiest. It's not my finest work. I'm not that, that proud of it, but it's going to do fine for me. Allison is doing another layer of coat on our firewall because last night we did something wrong. I don't think we let it dry long enough, or maybe we didn't degrease it good enough. But yeah, it was also and, really cold. You know, we cleaned it off with water. And we, we didn't degrease, which we should have. Yeah. So we had a little orange peel, but she already went over it with Scotch Bright again, and we're going to throw another coat on, and it'll probably be fine. So. I mean, we're not going for perfection under here. Just oh, clearly, sense. clearly not. You did just fine. Anyways. Anyways, back to painting. So just for shits and giggles, I uh, got this scale here. And uh, we're gonna weigh the factory control arm with our new 417, 417 Motorsports control arms. Now the lower ones are crazy heavy. I don't expect a huge difference in the uppers, but the, the, the factory lowers are really heavy. So let's see what it weighs. Factory lower control arm weighs 24 pounds. So 50 pounds basically for both. Our new tubular control arm weighs eight and a half pounds. 
They're literally a third of the weight of the factory control arm. So that's like a 16 pound weight savings, I think. I don't know, math is hard. Here's our factory upper control arm. It comes in at almost nine pounds. So that's crazy. The, the factory tiny upper control arm weighs just as much as the tubular lower control arm. And our tubular upper comes in at 4.8 pounds. Okay, so one more thing I thought to check on is how heavy is this Moroso trick spring that I had in there. So it's 15 pounds. Let's uh, weigh our coilover shock. Now this isn't the shock I'll be using, but you know, it's a coilover shock. They're all probably about the same. This is actually probably bigger than what, I'd, what I'm gonna have just cause it's way long, but so seven and a half pounds. So that's half the weight. There's, a, there's another 14 pounds of weight savings if you include both sides. That brings it up to about 55 pounds of weight savings, I believe. If I get a step side bed, you're gonna be able to see my shitty cab corner repairs. It's like I need to cover that up with this. Where did you get this from? It was in Ohio, but it's from uh, it's from Alabama. It was a southern bed. There's no rust on it. It's really dinty, but me and Austin learned some body work. It's not perfect. We're, we're, but I'm honestly we're not even done yet. <laughs> yeah, we're not there's done. still a lot to do on the sides, but we're right now. You just had to take a break from body work. Yeah, you're doing a lot. You're in suspension. I already stored work. this entire truck. Like, the only thing that's original left is the cab. In the frame. In the frame. In the frame. Most of the frame. Yeah. But everything else has been changed. The cab, the frame. That's it. <laughs> the cab, the frame. The dash. The dash will the be dash, the same. The cab, the frame, the dash. The gas pedal and brake pedal. Fenders are getting replaced because they're shitty. Gonna, it's gonna get new doors too because it's got power doors and I'm not wiring those. So I literally replaced everything. Yeah. And it has to do it as you're going. I had a lot of it together. Like I had a whole accessory drive on this thing and I literally took it all off and went a completely different route. Now I'm just gonna have an alternator up front. That's it. I, I like simplicity. Some people like all the, the bells and whistles and I'm just like, when I'd get a bike new, I'd take out the chain guard, all the reflectors, <laughs> all the bullshit, the kickstand and Make yeah. a stream line, you know, it's like the same thing. There's, yeah, like, I don't need AC. I like, well, I drive with the windows down. Like, Your daily doesn't even have AC, so. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, there's, yeah, I just like simple and the. I feel like the less things that can go wrong, especially since it's gonna be a drag and drive truck, like I want the least amount of things possible that can break or. Yeah, you don't want a huge uh, belt turning all your shit or two of them or three yeah. of them. More, more susceptible to shit going wrong. I just wanted everything to be like really easily serviceable. I just like trucks. Like everyone has always asked like, why don't I just throw my S10 together? Because it was way further along than this thing. I'm way nicer. And I'm like, it was too nice for how much I beat up on shit and drive yeah, like it. You could mess it. up anything on this and it's, yeah, it's like, like, it's fine. That's what it was for. Like, that was the whole intention. Understand. Two years ago, I didn't know how to use an air hose. Like I literally didn't know how to use an air chuck. So, when you tell me to go put my S10 together that looks brand new, new, nice new paint job, and it's got all this nice shit that I don't know anything about, I'm like, this is your scared dock, me. This is your dock slammer boat. So when people buy a boat, usually they get a dock slammer first that they don't care about. Mm -hmm. They learn how to fucking run in there because it doesn't have any brakes and shit. <laughs> so this is this is the, the, the beginning, and then you know, move on to the other one. It's fine. Yeah. And I, I, like bought, I bought a rusty truck because, well, I thought I wanted to learn how to do body work. I, all I learned is that I don't want to do body work. <laughs> Hello, who's this guy? Hello. We get to work on another LS. This one's easy to work on. Yeah, I've got plenty of room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> another reason I like big trucks. Got penis ports. Penis ports. <laughs> got them penis ports. Hey, does he got them penis ports? You sure this is not going to be a no prep vehicle? I mean, you're only, I mean, if this is going to go no prep racing, we're about this weekend away from racing it because you don't need a lot of shit on it. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That is very true. I just need some shock. I don't need shocks. We just, it's fine. No, we'll just put like a bar in there that lifts the front end up like six feet in the air and yeah. just go down like that, like a straight axle. <laughs>
Yeah. What do you got going on here, bud? I don't know. So we got push rods, we got rocker arms, we got a water manifold, and we got a balancer to put on. Oh, here. Look at this thing. A little heavy for my chart, but it's fucking nice. It is nice. I said that I said we need to put that on the Falcon and I'll take the one that's off the Falcon. He's like, nah, that's too nice for the Falcon. <laughs> Look at all these ports. When this truck's done, it's gonna be nice. Block around it and then shine it up. Yeah. Get that Jack's Wax polish out and just hammer down on it. These are cute little valve springs. The retainers look like pop can metal. Yeah. What? Those are titanium BTR. No, those came in a kid meal. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ultimate RPM or kit from BTR. Does this have the Truck Norse cam in it? No, it's a, it's a BTR Truck stage. Norse. <laughs> it's a stage two turbo cam. Stage two. Potato, 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 <laughs> potato, 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 potato. It don't sound like that at eight grand though. Well, this is similar to build as Jimmy Dales was telling me. Stock 5.3 block, stock heads, cam, and intake, and turbos. It has made pretty good power. I'm genuinely excited for this because as far as tuning goes, like I, like I know how to put a turbo, I know how to put a boost ramp in it or pull timing and all that shit and power manage, but I don't know anything about actually setting up a tune for fueling and timing and like reading Base plugs. Yeah. yeah, so I feel like with this being a stock bottom end, Stock heads. Probably, probably has a base map for this you can put in and get it oh, on. For sure, but I'd love, you know, I, I think I would enjoy starting from scratch on something like this. And yeah, you'll have fun with it, for sure. And if I blow it up, like, dude. My advice would be to start on gate pressure and get your fueling and your timing mapped out in and then just start adding boost after that. My, I just my, plan on leaving on like 15 my, pounds. Uh, and just <laughs> my advice is, I don't know. Yeah. Part of me wishes you kept that dyno, but we just don't have any room for it. Don't have room. Can't get the lifters out unless you take the heads off. Yeah. That sucks. I forgot about that. Damn, it's kind of dry. Where's all your grease and lube on? Well, I lubed that when I put it in two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's as dry as a 77 year old woman in there. I'm telling you, well, Billy was there when I put that in. We, we had all the sticky red lube on it. I'm gonna have to prime this engine really good before I start it. When I assembled the bottom end, I, I used all that red lube stuff, and I, I don't know how long that stuff lasts. Yeah, I just, just dump some Brad Pen on it and be alright. Mm -hmm. I know I put lifters in it. Yeah, they're in there. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while, but I remember doing that. Yeah. So should we put a little up. some grease on all the things just because yeah. so, there's no oil? Okay, yeah, I got I got some grease. Yeah, my LS, my LS builder. Pretty simple. What's the lift on this camera? Like 580 or something? I think it's 600. 580 or 600. Let me look at it. 615, 615. I don't know, you can't buy this cam anymore because now they got the BTR Stage 2 V2. So every time I try to lift this cam up, it's I just looked up Truck Norse. It's <laughs> awesome. All right, so. Look at that. Look at that max lift right there. 30. 90. I might not have done that right, but. It looked good. It'll do just fine for me. Add boost, everything fixes itself. Yeah. We can't let it make too much power, it'll just blow up. This is way too nice for my junk. Yeah, but you're not always gonna have this junk. Get that water pump. <laughs> Yeah, I've got so much nice LS stuff. This thing's probably gonna stay LS for a while, but it'll get a nicer one eventually. A more better one. Okay. 
pretty simple. I mean, yeah, I know, but you gotta you understand. Just, you can't overthink these. And but I'm the biggest overthinker, and I've never done it before, so I just it's nice to have an overseer. Yeah. Yeah, I think your push rod length is fine. I mean, you've got plenty of preload, but you've also got a lot of room for the plunger to go down, so should be all right. Look at that. Okay, set the valve covers on again. Look how shiny it is. Holy mackerel. Batman. I'll clean off. Dude. I got an ICT billet alternator bracket on the way. It's going to be all shiny too. That's a lot of shine for one of these motors. Hey man, don't you know a motor is electric? All right guys, so I think we're gonna go ahead and close out this video. The, the last couple of videos have been tough and making this video has been tough just because it's like every other day I get one new part that shows up and I put it on. I get another new part and I put it on. It's like hard to make a continuous video. I, we haven't uploaded in like two weeks, but look at him. I got my California friend here. What you think? It's pretty. It's, it ain't, <laughs> it, he doesn't, it's just, what? A, it's just stupid LS. No, I'm, ha I'm happy it's your LS. How about that? See, he's, he's very supportive. We got, of course, we got more parts on the way. The plan is to get some spindles coming. Jake messaged me today. He said, we got hot boys on the way, which is insane. Um, what? I never thought it, yeah. I never, I'm jealous. I know. Well, you're getting them too on the Dakota, yeah, probably. I'm trying to be patient. <laughs> yeah. Really, the timeline right now, we need spindles, get some brakes going. Um, and then for the back, I've got the rear end back off the leaf springs again because I have a buddy making me some lowering blocks, some chromoly lowering blocks. Um, it's really hard to find steel lowering blocks. And he's the guy that has always told me and Billy, you need steel lowering blocks. Because if you get the aluminum ones at our, at our horse pressure range, they chew them up. And it's true, Billy's chewed up quite a few before he finally put steel ones in and it's life changing. <laughs> So uh, those are on the way. So once we get the truck back on the ground, like I said, we'll get the brakes on, get it back, and we'll start running brake lines. And then we'll get a drive shaft made. That way it has park and brakes. That way we can ease, more easily move it around, get on the trailer, safely transport it to the chassis shop where Mike Lane at Lane Motorsports Fabrication is gonna put on our 850 cage. I haven't really videoed that yet, but we got an 850 cage from more race chassis. Um, same cage that's in the Motion OBS, um, which they should be giving away soon. That's exciting. I think somebody might already want it though. I did not win. Like I need another one. But um, yeah, so we got a lot of plans. It's just it's one of the things where uh, you know parts are just on the way and it's just the timeline. So, but we made some great progress. We got our coilover conversion on. We got our 417 Motorsports control arms here. I just have this one on here for mock-up. Um, we'll get everything together once we get some spindles and, um, yeah, it's going to fly together at this point. As soon as I get a few more stuff, like a few more parts together, we'll, this thing will fly back together. It already has probably sometime later this week. I've got a balancer. I, I did have a truck balancer on here, but I decided to put a, uh, F body spacing balancer on here. And I, I, I had like a Jags one, which would have been fine, but I want to put a nice ATI one on. So those are the plans. And then, and then I know I'm rambling, but once we get the rear mount radiator in, we can put the bed on and then it's really going to look like a truck again. And it's going to be insane. So. Yay. We're going to murder final it. Thoughts? That's right. Can't wait. We're going to murder, murder it. it. It's going to House of Pearls at some point before sick week, hopefully. It's gonna be satin black, just like Billy's Nova, but it's gonna be two-tone, just like his, where he's got the gloss stripes. We're gonna do a, you know, just like how my bed's green and silver from the factory, we're gonna do a gloss uh, black two-tone with the satin black. So I think it's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna get the Billy special at House of Pearls, what I can afford and what's in my time Maybe sometime later on, maybe it'll go back to blue when I can afford it. I don't know. Probably not. I'm going to love the black so much, probably. 
I, I fell in love with Billy's Nova when it when it came back. So, yeah, I think I covered everything. So we'll go ahead and close this one out. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next one.